Hey everybody, Steven here, and today doing a review of a wireless lavalier, and all the footage, by the way, for this video is actually going to be shot off of my iPhone 12 Pro here. I am going to have footage of me actually unboxing this, rolling right now, so you guys can see that, but this one, I believe the company, the name is J7, hopefully I pronounced that right. This looks like it's another instance of... I've seen, I've seen a lot of these on Amazon where they're probably all manufactured at the same facility, most likely. Maybe some minor adjustments to it, but then a lot of different companies, brands, buy them and then sell them under their name with this. But I've needed one for the videos that I do for my fitness YouTube channel, so I was hoping that this one would actually be a good fit for that. So. With this here, let's go ahead and cover some of the specs. These are going to be kind of basic for this, um, but frequency range here is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Charging input standard is DC 5 volt at 1 amp. The mic battery capacity is 70 milliamps. And then with this, the charging battery capacity for the case is 450 milliamps. On this, they advertise about 48 hours. So you get seven with the lavalier itself, and then you get the rest of that in terms of the 48, so another 41 hours with actually being able to recharge this with the case, which I do like the case. It is very compact. I like this. And so, and then actually the lavalier itself is compact. And with this, I'm about roughly 10 feet away from the phone right now. So it does sound a little tinny to me, but I'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, in terms of the charging port for this, we have the type C charging cable and it does come with one. The working frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, on the box here, the things that they advertise, ultra low latency, smart noise cancellation. So this is supposed to reduce any type of ambient low level noise that is around you to a small degree. It can't work miracles, but it can do that to a small degree with this. It has a long working time, like I explained, sound and picture synchronization, real-time sound reception, and then of course it's going to say this with this, it's, it's tiny and it's portable, which that absolutely is true. That is the big upside. This was originally $79.99, so $80. It's currently 5% off, so I think that brings it down to essentially $75. And then there's another $15 off coupon that you can use. And so with that, it brings it down to the $60. <laughs> $60, that's a pretty good deal for this. You just get the one. If you wanna pay like 110 to about $150, you can get one that comes with two of these. Different brands I noticed had some, um, and actually some of them, uh, like it's like Lewin, I believe is the brand. They are a company that I've looked at some of their stuff before. So it's brands that I've seen before. But just looking at portability, costs, uh, this only works with the iPhone. That is something um, you can look for specific ones. They're going to have that USB type C input from the transmitter or sorry, the receiver. So this one is only going to work with iPhone. I guess that would probably be one of my concerns is, you know, if you've used like a headset for a long period of time after you've plugged it in and pulled it out so many different times, that starts to wear down. So my concern here would be that after one or two years, maybe this thing actually just isn't making that good connection anymore. How is that going to affect the audio with this? But I do like the ability to actually stand with this further distance away and record my videos. My hope is that this will make it easier for me to get content in the studio. And that's what we're gonna move on to next with this. So looking at distance, they say about 65 feet, as long as you don't have any obstructions is how far you can actually go away from this. I do like the fact that it has a wind screen also. That is a cool uh, addition. My concern, because it didn't have any pictures, is that it didn't have that, but it does have that. So that should work if you're outside and it happens to be windy. Again, with most of those, don't expect miracles. It's going to reduce it some, but if there's huge gusts of wind, it's not going to 100% eliminate that. But let me give you guys a tour of the studio. So I actually haven't showcased this, I believe, um, before. So for those that do follow the channel, uh, 
what is my normal day job? It is typically training. So I'm a medical exercise professional. Uh, I'm certified in everything from dynamic neuromuscular stabilization to functional range conditioning, global rehabilitation injury prevention. I'm a medical exercise professional. This is like the, the main thing that I do. And I'm paired with a chiropractor, Dr. John at Move Lab and me. So we have uh, our own studio here. So I'll kind of whip this around so you guys can see. So here's some more of the equipment, my different uh, stuff up on the wall, diagrams, things like this that I use uh, with different systems. Um, the area that I was just at will go this way so you guys can actually see. Now this is Dr. John's area over here so we kind of have it split. We're starting small and then we want to build bigger is the hope. And then if we start going this way, hopefully the sun doesn't drown everything out. We got my rail support system for the natural movement stuff that I do. So I do, I'm certified in MoveNet. I'm also certified in par Parkour Adapt Level 1. So we have this right here. Um, we'll turn this way, ski erg, functional trainer, sled, kettlebells. I got some other people that uh, do some training out of here. So that's just a little bit of a tour. Now what I want to do, and actually we'll set this back over here. So let's get this set up. All right, so we set up this building, and this is towards the wall. This building is, I think this side would be 45 feet. So as you see me backing up and you can still hear me, I am now 40, let's say 43 feet away from this. So not quite the 65 feet, but a good distance. I typically wouldn't shoot something this far anyways in terms of the distance away from my phone. But hopefully that gives you an idea. I can go that far. We don't have any issues with the audio. In terms of the audio, something that I mentioned earlier, to me it sounds a little tinny. So it doesn't sound probably as good as if I put like Apple ear pods in, potentially. I don't have those to test, those are till, still uh, pretty expensive. Um, but the portability with this, just being able to clip it right here. And if you need the option where you need two individuals talking, maybe you're trying to do interviews or whatever it may be off of your phone, I think this would be a really good option for you to look at. I like the fact that it, they're going this compact also, where you're not needing the, the transmitter on your hip and then you run a cable up through like some of the I think the Comica Boom XD one was like that right but that one you can use with DSLR cameras so that's that is different there but just having this like small compact lavalier really really awesome you're doing TikTok, YouTube stuff, Instagram stuff whatever it may be you need something that's portable because you don't want a huge setup that's why you're using your phone this may be a great option for you pricing wise I think it's a decent price at the $60 Audio, decent, not the best, but I'm also not expecting the best for this price range and also what I can do with my phone. If you have anything that you can utilize in terms of an app to adjust this in post, that may help. But let's do a quick sound test right now. And I'll be, let's say I'm about 10 feet away. Actually, let's just do it this way. I wanna start close and then I'll back up and we'll do kind of back-to-back -back tests where we do them at set intervals. That way you guys can see what is it gonna sound like if I don't have this, and what is it gonna sound like if I do have this. So this is just going to be the phone stock. I have the lavalier and the receiver right here in my hand. This is roughly 10 feet away. And so let's go ahead and start backing up now. Let's make it to about the 20-ish foot mark right here, kind of using the rail support system as a guide for that, so we're roughly 20 feet away. Let's back up even further. Let's get somewhere in the realm of like 30 feet for this. So 30 feet away, this is gonna start to sound like you can barely probably hear me, just historically when I've actually done, tried to do this with my phone. It, it doesn't actually pick up great on the audio when it's this far, and it's really not gonna pick up once I get way back here. So once I'm at the 42, 43 foot range, it also depends on how much I'm going to try to project my voice. So right now I've actually raised my voice up a little bit just because I know it's not really going to pick up on me from this distance. But if I went back to my normal talking voice and it was like I had the lavalier and I dropped that down a little bit, you'll feel that it really can't pick up on what I'm saying. So I'm going to have to make the adjustment in post now to raise that volume up. So this is going to be about five feet from my phone for this portion right here. Let's back up now. Let's go about maybe about close to 20 feet right here. So this is close to 20 feet-ish. And then let's get close to about that 30 foot mark. 
and then let's go all the way back towards this 42, 43 foot mark right here. So that's going to be the sound test there. Hopefully that helps you just kind of see what it's going to be like if you're just using your phone versus this lavalier. I'm going to have a link for this in the description. I think it's a good product. I'm glad I got it for myself because of the compact nature of it. So how portable that makes this. Uh, audio is good enough for what I'm going to use this for. I don't need anything that's top notch. If, it's, if I was going to do that, I would just bring my whole camera setup in here, right? I'd have my DSLR camera in there with uh, my um, Rode microphone and I would be using that stuff versus this. This for me is all about the portability. I need something that still sounds decent, but I don't need top notch. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be buying because there are some out there that are two, three hundred dollars. Maybe down the road I can buy that and then I can do a comparison. But if you're like me, you're on a budget, I think this is a good option if you want to pick it up. But like I said, I'll have the link for this in the description if you want to pick this up. If you have any questions, maybe something that I haven't actually covered in this video, let me know in the comment section. I will make sure that I answer that for you there. Hopefully you liked the small tour of the space here. We're hoping to grow this here in the next year to something even bigger because I used to have a facility that was bigger than this. But we wanted to start smaller here with a storefront versus I was in a warehouse space. So hopefully I can actually do another one down the road and showcase that space off on this channel as well. So that's going to be it for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.